Hello everybody out there in YouTube land. Good times for all. There's Zachary Zabala here if you prefer. In this video I am going to attempt to change the gold foil on my electroscope. I accidentally touched it and ripped it off there and I'm not really sure how to replace it so this is going to be a journey for both of us. Real quick, all I did, there's a couple nuts. Here, I'm going to do this. Bring you closer. That's all I took off of the inside of that up there. And I'm going to just pull it straight out. So you have your electrode. And that Something tells me to tear this off of here. So I'm going to. There's an old wrapping on it. It looks like it's just a piece of tape that is actually holding where it used to be. You can see the gold foil at the end there. And that's all it is, piece of metal. So what's happening? Well, we'll get to that when we actually use the thing. Okay. So I got some tweezers. I really don't want to touch it too much. not sure what to do here. That's what it looks like. Real super thin gold smashed down. The back side has something on it. I'm not really seeing a way to peel it off. Alrighty folks. So you didn't have to get tortured through sitting here watching me try to do this, barely speaking, for about seven or eight minutes. I decided to fast forward through most of this part. Um, didn't really say too much. Was really trying to concentrate. So I figured this would cut the video down a lot right here. And um, that's it. Should we come back on here any second now? Putting the screws, the nuts, onto the screws gonna be a pain in the butt but pretty much all I did I taped that to it and I'm gonna rub my feet well we'll see if it works here I'm gonna stop it I'm gonna put it all together and then we'll check it out All right, folks. So as you can see, we've got it all back together in here. Um, there's a little bit of the foil that looks like it got kind of ripped, pulling it away from that piece of paper. On my next one, I'll have to do a little bit better job. I actually changed it up. Um, I didn't take the time to record it but I just used a really small piece of tape as you can see up there and I just pinched it together with the uh, tweezers and got it to lay nice and flat it works much better now than the way it was before let me put this glass it has the glass in here because you can just blow on that gold and it will uh, it'll move so it's hanging pretty near zero um, I think the electrophorus is still charged. Yeah, let's just, so I'll pick it up. And look at just holding it even near it. It's already picking up a slight charge. The closer I get, the higher it'll get. And then when I touch it, it'll... 
So that one got to about 70 it looked like. Then it'll slowly lose its charge. I can touch it, make it drop it off quicker. But yeah, so we're going to uh, charge up things with our electrophorus here. Different shapes and sizes and measure different points of it, stuff like that. But um, that's how it ended up. I've got four more of them. So hopefully the next one turns out a little bit better than this one. But, uh, yeah, that's my electroscope and how I changed it. All I did was, I'm sure they come differently from different places, but this one was just a piece of gold on that little strip. And all I had to do was um, peel it off and then held it all with tweezers and just got a really small piece of tape and tweezered it to the bottom of the electrode there, the whole flat part. Before I was trying to get it up onto this part, this time I just stayed down on the stick and it worked much better. So that's it. Uh, changing the gold foil on an electroscope. It's good times for all here. Signing out. As always, thanks for watching.